So, by the end of this video, you will have a complete understanding on how to use one of the most powerful, most powerful and effective mobile trading platforms available today. Of course, folks, I'm talking about Webull. You're going to learn how to set up your indicators. You're going to learn how to configure them. And you're going to learn how to work around the platform. Then I'm going to be showing you how to scan using Webull, and I'm going to show you how to find some of the best opportunities. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to put it sweetly, I've been around the block. As a trader, I've tried out tons and tons of different platforms, and I don't always like what I see. And throughout all this, there's only two that I use today, and I only recommend one of those for beginners, and that is Webull. Now, Webull, in my opinion, is special because of the simple fact that it's able to simplify trading and simplify trading for active traders while not overwatering it down like some other platforms do. But before we get into the video, the only thing that I ask of you in return is that you hit that ravishing like button. And of course, if you do decide to sign up with Webull or you haven't already, make sure to use our link below so that you get not one, but two free stocks. They generally give pretty good stocks to folks and the second stock that you get can be valued up to a thousand dollars, which is a pretty good deal considering that you can literally just sign up with this free broker and then cash out your account if you wanted to. But I really do believe that Webull has so much more to offer than just free stocks. If you use Webull properly, you'll have unlimited potential. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it, folks. I want to start you off with a theme, and a lot of people ask me why it is that my Webull's black. Do I have a special Webull? No, I don't have a special Webull. In order to make it black, if you want to feel like a secret agent, all you have to do is go to menu, and then all you have to do is go to settings, and then switch back and forth from night mode to day mode and whatnot. And that's based on what you see as relevant. I like to think of myself as the James Bond of trading, so I like to have it in night mode. And you can make it so that it switches automatically, but that's just a little bit of an aesthetic feature that may or may not interest you. But getting into the most important stuff, how is it that we actually set up the platform? How is it that we set up the different indicators? And you can see I have the RSI set up, I have the MACD, and I have a one single SMA line. So how is it that I set those up? And for those of you who are familiar with the SMA, the MA is essentially the same thing. It's just Weeble's version of it. And it gives you essentially the same read on the price action. So just set that to 180. And we also have a few other different indicators. We like to use the MACD and we like to use the RSI. The RSI helps us measure whether or not we're getting a good deal and the MACD helps us measure price strength. And you may notice that I don't have a regular price strength SMA indicated on the chart. And the reason that I don't do that is because when it comes to trading mobily, I tend to have less indicators open because I don't need to see everything. I only like to have the bare minimum. When it comes to trading on a small screen, it's just not my preference. I only do that for taking the best of positions. So how do I gauge price strength? How do I gauge confirmations? Well, I use the MACD and I use the crossing of the lines. The MACD has the same feature as the SMA line that we usually use. It gauges price strength and it gauges how strong the price action is trading based on the previous price action. So the MACD is a good replacement for the regular price strength SMA line when you're trading mobily. And I also use the directional SMA line, the one that's pictured here in red, in order to gauge whether or not we're in an upward direction or a downward direction. That's how we've always done it. That's how I've always done it. And that's how I've always preached. And that's what I recommend doing in terms of that. And again, to set up the RSI, all you have to do is push RSI. Same thing with the MACD, just push it MACD. And if you want the crazy Ishimoku clouds, here's the Ishimoku cloud. Okay, so let's say that you're watching Tesla. And you're like, okay, well, I want to take a position in Tesla if something happens. What kind of alerts can you set using the Webull platform? Well, in order to set an alert, all you have to do is push this alert button. And you have a bunch of different options here. Now, one of the things I really like about the Webull mobile phone app is you can just push news and it'll alert you anytime that Tesla has any news. And I like to follow Tesla's news. So it's really useful for me to be able to catch up with, you know, what Elon Musk is doing, what the biggest announcements are, what the biggest announcements are, and how that's going to affect the share price, and then sort of monitor that and see if I can find a good position. So you can go over and swipe right on the news, and then all of a sudden you could push save, and it will alert you if you have any big news in Tesla. But there's also other types of alerts you can set, right? More traditional types. You could set it if the volume is above average. And it's really useful to be able to set alerts for higher volume because at the end of the day, stocks that have abnormal volume, if you have an upward sentiment stock and it has upward volume and it has volume, all of a sudden that's going to cause a run up, right? Because the sentiment is upward and more volume means more shares pouring in and more people snapping up shares. And of course you could set price alerts for it to alert you when prices drop below a certain point and above a certain point. And you could set different price movement. For example, if we have a sharp fall or a sharp rise, it will alert you. Or if it hits a 52 week high and a 52 week low, it will alert you. And that's a really cool thing because a lot of the competitors to Webull, a lot of the simplified competitors to Webull, they just don't have so many specifications. And I think that's one of the big 
pros of Weeble. Okay, so with that being said, what is it that Weeble actually offers in terms of extra features? Well, one of the things that I really enjoy is the comment section. Now, I don't love analyst opinions, and I sure as hell do not value just random folks on the internet commenting about stocks. But when it comes to this community section, what is useful is looking in to see if there's something that you missed. Like, is there a certain pattern that you haven't identified? Is there a certain news catalyst that you didn't really know about? And you can scroll through the list and see exactly what other people are thinking about a certain stock. Now with Tesla, this doesn't mean a whole lot. Hey, this person's actually in the Zip Trader U. Shout out to our Zip Traders. But anyways, when it comes to something like this, it's really useful to scroll through and see exactly what other people are thinking just because you can see if there's anything that you missed or if there's something else to go off of. And of course, we have the stock predictions over here where it shows, you know, are the analysts bullish? Are the analysts bearish? Are the other people in the community bearish or bullish? And so on and so forth. We can see insider activity, we can see support and resistance, so I don't necessarily agree with how Weeble sets up their support and resistance, but they do set it up and you could use that as a gauge to see you know, where exactly the upward potential lies and so on and so forth. We have our short interest, we have our days to cover, and we have a bunch of other different things in terms of settlement dates and short interest. And then we have key indicators. I don't really use this section. I did in the beginning, but I just, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little bit too fundamentally heavy. And as traders, we just, we don't care that much about the fundamentals. We only care about it in terms of how it relates to the price action. Okay, institutional holdings. You can see all the institutional holdings. One of the things that I teach in the Zip Trader U course is how certain institutions are known to pick winners and how those winners can create a huge elevating factor when it comes to running up a share price. But that's a subject for a different time. And we could see different key executives and stuff of that nature. Now, one of the important things to keep in mind is that when it comes to actually community settings, if you have a stock like, say, I don't know, well, what's a big one today? Uh, BNGO, something that's going up massively, and you're not really sure why it's going up so massively, you can actually look at the community settings and see what the community thinks is causing it to run up and what people are saying. And that way you don't have to actually spend hours digging into different news and different catalysts and stuff of that nature. You could actually see what other people are thinking. Some of these, like your trap dude, that's not very helpful, but some of them will tell you exactly what's happening. Like for example, a lot of people are talking about earnings. So you know, hey, look, earnings is coming up. Earnings are coming up and that's going to be a factor when considering to take a position. And you can go and check the chart and say, okay, well, hey, are we running up? Are we breaking out on the directional SMA line? Stuff of that nature. And what else is there? And you can see our analyst predictions over here and stuff of that nature. Okay, so how do you place an order for a stock? Well, you go over to trade and then it should ask you for your pin the first time you log in, but I'm already logged in, so it won't ask me for my pin. And all of a sudden you have this create an order page and you could either buy or sell. And if you're selling an order where you don't have it, obviously you're shorting it. Weeble allows you to short different positions based on the leverage that you have. And you can choose exactly what type of order you want, limit, market, and stop order. I always recommend that people start with limit orders, but you know, depending on the type of position and how aggressive you're being, you may want to choose a market order. It just depends on the situation, but Weeble offers it all. And one of the cool things that Weeble does offer is that it has free after hours and pre-market trading. And of course, it gives you all of the standard customizations in terms of setting your prices and your quantity desired and stuff of that nature. One of the things I do like, and it's just kind of a geeky thing to like, but it kind of vibrates, like your phone will vibrate as you move through the quantity just to keep you sort of engaged with it. Like those video games, they kind of vibrate to keep you engaged, make sure that you're feeling something. I like how Weeble does that. It's like tactic feedback that shows that, hey, I'm not just throwing digits, random digits into the wind. I'm actually buying something and using capital that I own in order to buy something. And it gives you that tactic feedback, which is something that I really value. And another thing that I really like is that it'll alert you and say, hey, look, there's an earnings report coming up. There's an earnings report conference call. And then you can actually go and launch it. And then we also have news, right? We could see what news is coming up for BNGO and what might exactly be running up, right? So it says that so it says that they want a contract and the stock's up 50%. Now it doesn't necessarily relate, but obviously in this situation it's highly likely that it does relate. And we could see our time in sales. This is useful. We could see our volume analysis and look and see like, okay, well, where's the buyer volume? Where's the seller volume? Where's the neutral volume? Where is it just flowing? And we can look at the volume profile from each different time span. Okay, so if you go to the market tab, we get all of the different scanning features that sort of work as your headquarters to help you find different positions and help you find exactly what it is that's going to make you money. 
And one of the things that I like to start with is I always look at the external hours rankings. So before the market opens, obviously it's going to show the pre-market gainers. And then after it's going to show you the after hours runners. It's really good because if you look at something like BNGO, you can see BNGO ran up massively and you could have found that in the pre-market gainers. And it also did yesterday and it showed that in the after hours runners. And this is actually one of the ways that I populate my zip trader circle watch list that I post every night is by looking at the pre-market and after hours gainers or the after hours gainers. And you can also use things like earning surprises to find stocks that are beyond expectation or below expectations and vice versa. And we can look at insider activity to find insider buys and insider sells. At the end of the day, the insiders are the ones that know the most about the company, so it's useful to see what they're doing. The earnings center is also useful. You can see which companies have earnings coming up, which companies are relevant today, and which companies are going to be spiking in one way or the other. We know that Roku got beat down massively yesterday, and we know that today there's an earnings call, right? So we can say, okay, well, how's that related? Can we trade off that? Is there value in trading that? And we can also see the hottest industry, which industries are taking off the most. Specialty mining and metals are going up a lot today. Now, I'm not a big trader in that, but, you know, someone might say, okay, well, look, there's opportunities. That's the hype sector. And we can see the hottest stocks. We can see the top gainers, the top losers. And again, we love top losers. Top losers get beat down massively, and that provides opportunities in one way or the other. Okay, and what about the community tab? So this goes back to the community aspect of Webull, and I think that's a really cool feature to have. This is sort of a mini Reddit where you can scroll through and see what all the hottest topics are in terms of trading for that day. You can go to the competition tab. They have different competitions that you can partake in. You can look at the top news, which companies and which economic factors are making the highest news or the biggest news for the day. And then you can look at news for your given watch list that's on this main page here. You can see biggest IPOs that are coming up, filed, listed. It's good to know the different IPOs are coming up so that you can kind of research ahead of time and see exactly what it is that you're planning to do. Okay, folks, so I do want to show you one more feature with the Weeble mobile app, and that is the replay feature. If you go over to the chart and you push hold, all of a sudden you can go and you can do replay. Replay is interesting because it'll replay the day and show you exactly how the price moves. Now, sometimes if you're just bored, if you're sitting in your car or something like that, obviously don't trade and drive. But if you're sitting in your car and you have just time to do something, you can look at the replay and see exactly how the time and order of sales and the flow of sales actually moved a certain price. And this is really good because it shows you sort of an intuitive feel for how a company moves and it kind of gives you a way of evaluating, elevating, and deprecating factors in real time. See, right now we can say, okay, well, look at the MACD. Look where we are on strength. Are we medium strength? Are we negative strength, right? We can measure the bars and so on and so forth. And this is something to sort of get used to. And you could slow it down to one speed to make it real time and so on and so forth. But it's really up to you and how you like to practice and learn. And if you'd like to paper trade, all you have to do is go over to simulated holdings, and then you can buy and sell using this simulated paper trading platform. This is a really good thing because it allows you to practice using fake money. I always tell people that they need to give themselves proof and not promises. When it comes to trading, you need to prove to yourself that you have the ability to grow your account. And Webull gives you a great opportunity to do this through this simulated platform. Okay, folks, well, this concludes the video and the walkthrough on Webull. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us below or join our free Zip Trader Circle Facebook group. If you are considering signing up with Webull, make sure to use our link below so that you can get not one, but two free stocks while also supporting the wonderful folks over at Zip Trader. And if you would like more Webull content in the future, make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.